Hi, today we are going to learn how to build a university catalog using the plugin CM Course Catalog that allows you to create a directory of courses each with their page. By combining different add-ons as Payments, Dashboard, Form Builder, Waiting List and EDD, you can charge users to register for the courses, organize the waiting lists, gather the information about the students and manage all your courses. CM Course Catalog requires EDD plugin for payment. To install it, navigate to Plugins, Add New, search for Easy Digital Downloads, install and activate it. Then you can configure EDD plugin by navigating to Downloads, Settings. Now you can start building your course catalog. Navigate to CM Course Catalog Pro Categories. Here you give the name to the new category, a slug, and you can choose a parent course category if you want to, and add description of the category. And at the end you need to add the featured image that will be shown on the front end. Click Add New Course Category. On the right part of the screen you can see the list of created categories that you can edit, delete or view. Count zero means that this category doesn't have any courses at the moment, so let's create one. Navigate the same course catalog pro, add course. Here we need to fill all the needed data for our course. We give it a name, we add long description, we can write short description if it's needed, and here we set the price. We can create the price in EDD in advance, and we can set the price right here. But if we add it here, after adding we need to refresh the page, so the price could appear in the list. Then we can add a waiting list if you are using an add-on CM Course Catalog waiting list. So the students could register if there are no available courses at the moment or if they are not ready to participate at the moment. Next you write syllabus of the course and additional information. Also, you can place here a banner that will be displayed on the front end. The size should be 1000 pixels by 300. And you can promote the course to place it on top of searches. Add pictures to course gallery. And also you can add videos using the links from YouTube and Vimeo. Next, you fill the information about the course. Course code, number of sessions, total number of hours, minimum and maximum number of participants. Course price. You can set it in case if you didn't set the price in EDD field. It will be displayed on the front end on the course page, but to sell the course you anyway will have to set the price in EDD. In the next form we fill the information about course periods. Code and code link, start and add date, start and add time, number of meetings, note. You can add any number of periods. Also, in settings of the plugin you can choose what fields will be displayed on the front end. It can be different for desktop and mobile devices. Course address and map. If you enable virtual address, the address will not be displayed on the front end. If you don't enable it, you can fill the address, you can hide fields that you don't need. If you disable show address option, then the address also will not be displayed on the front end. If you want to add Google Map to the course page, you need to use some add-ons for it. Now we are going to meta boxes on the right side of the screen. You can add text to make easier searching of the courses using keywords. Text must be separated with commas. In the next meta box, you need to choose category that the course would belong to. When everything is finished, you can click the button Publish. Now you can navigate to CM Course Catalog Pro Courses and find in the list the course that we have just created. You can edit it, delete or view. Now it's time to see how it looks like on the front end. Here is the catalog of different categories of courses. Let's choose Graphic Design. Here is the course that we have just created. On the left side you can see basic information and address and on the right side is description of the course, waiting list and its periods. When the course is bought, the student gets a few letters to his email with the information about the course and if this is the first course that he bought, he also gets a letter with registration information. Thanks for watching the video!